Hij moet wel stilstaan en niet praten, hè? gewoon echt heel stilstaan. Working in these spaces of MMK2 uh, was a really exciting challenge. And they've given me a lot of freedom to adapt this space. A space is always a part of the work that I make. So the way that I install a work in the space is as much the work as the object itself. What I find very attractive about weaving is that there is this great simplicity of these two factors. There is nothing else you can use but these two lines that go in these two different directions. And um, at the same time, once you start combining these two lines, the possibilities seem to be endless. And I love the idea of the two, where two things meet and where they match or they don't match or they clash or they, they fight or they integrate. There's so many things that can happen. Not only visual effect, but also suggests meanings. People always think that the artist knows everything about the work. To a certain extent that is true, but what happens usually in the studio is that we try to, yeah, there's something that we have in our heads and we try to produce something and we hope it's going to live up to our expectations. Yeah, you make the piece and when it's finished, what is in front of you is usually something entirely different from what you had, you know, in mind. And then comes a process which is always very interesting of getting to know your own piece. Around the millennium term there was a moment when protest seemed to become more important and all these images depict moments where large groups of people come together in order to share their emotions or their wishes or desires, usually political or socially driven. I was interested in what brings these groups of people together, why do they feel connected and what about, what produces this connection, so how do they stage themselves. There are a lot of formal analogies between all these moments that happened all over the world for very different causes. These flower works, what I like very much about them is that you can build them up and then uh, they're going to fill the space with their presence, with the way they look and as well as with their smell. But it's also very easy for them to not be there. When the flowers die, we throw them away. The piece doesn't exist anymore. For me, since I'm yeah, so such a fan of empty space, I always like pieces that also have a, a quality to be absent. They also don't have to necessarily take space.